Remember this black genius girl who had one of the highest IQs in the whole world? This is what happened to her. Anala Beavers is 12 years old, and she's smarter than most kids her age and most adults too. This girl from the city of New Orleans is definitely not an ordinary child. Her intelligence sets her apart from the rest of the world. Before she was even 5 years old, she had an IQ of over 145. That's really high. Anala's story began with her family, where she was provided with a loving and supportive environment for her natural talents. The genius was born in the lively city of New Orleans to Sabrina and Landon Beavers. Her parents were so happy to welcome their beautiful baby girl into their lives. Little did they know that their daughter would amaze them with her unmatched intelligence. Anala's remarkable intelligence began to show from the moment she entered the world. Her mother, Sabrina, was the first to notice it. She observed how at four months old, Anala was already learning the alphabet. Sabrina would say the ABCs to her, and Anala would mouth the letters along with her. Sabrina marveled at this. A four-month-old reciting ABCs? That wasn't something usual. But that was just a sign of things to come. By ten months old, Alana could already identify and point to each letter when Sabrina said it. And this was before she could even talk. This left our parents and every visitor in total shock. Anala's ability to understand letters before she could even say her first words was a clear indication of her extraordinary potential. As Anala continued to grow, so did her thirst for knowledge. Her interest in numbers became noticeable, and they were another sign of her intelligence. By the age of 18 months, she was confidently reciting numbers in both Spanish and English, a feat that left her family and friends amazed. Anala's mind was like a sponge, sucking up any information effortlessly and learning at a pace that was faster than anything they had ever seen. It was now beyond doubt that Anala was exceptionally smart. Her parents, who were amazed by her special abilities, now began to get worried. They finally had to look at her and ask, is this normal for a baby to do? Anala was a lot of things, but ordinary was not one of them. When Anala began to meet other children her age, it became immediately clear that she was too different from them. But one thing was for certain. The little girl was destined for greatness. This realization prompted her parents to make a significant decision. Anala was not going to attend preschool, no, she was too intelligent for that. Instead, she was directly enrolled in kindergarten at the Marrero Academy for Advanced Studies in Jefferson Parish. It was a leap that held both excitement and challenges for the young prodigy and her parents. Anala's amazing intelligence was fully visible to everyone when she celebrated her fifth birthday. Her IQ of over 145 clearly set her apart from anyone that she came across. By this time, she could already do what most adults would find challenging. She could not only say the names of all the states in the United States, but also effortlessly name their respective capitals. Everyone who knew her could see that she had an incredible memory and could learn things very quickly. But she didn't stop there. There are YouTube videos that show Anala's amazing talent as she names the capitals of countries all over the world. This always leaves viewers all over the world stunned by her encyclopedic knowledge. While Anala did well in her school, her parents had a problem. They realized that the local schools might not be good enough for their daughter's special talents. Anala was a bright star in a world of her own, and they wanted to ensure that her brilliance continued to shine. So her parents decided to do something different at home. They focused on supporting Anala's insatiable thirst for knowledge. The parents of the genius recognized the importance of providing a nurturing environment outside of school that encouraged her to explore her interests freely. But they knew it all depended on her. Landon especially understood that they didn't have to push her or make her do anything. Anala always came to them by herself and said what she wanted to learn. But even though their daughter was very talented, the Beavers family wanted her to have a normal childhood. They wanted her to be happy. And that meant balancing her special abilities with a life filled with love, laughter and play. There were supportive parents who helped her develop her talents while also ensuring that she had a happy and well-rounded childhood. As Anala's intelligence began to gain attention, offers for appearances on national television shows such as The Today Show and Good Morning America started pouring in. However, her parents, knowing the importance of preserving her childhood, 
made a conscious choice to keep her life as simple as possible. They turned down these opportunities to ensure that Anala could enjoy the wonder and innocence of being a child. Anala's high intelligence sometimes led to fun and strange debates with her parents. She would bring up a topic and Landon and Sabrina would talk her about it. They would respond to her like she was an adult and then realize that they were debating with a five-year-old. But Anala's arguments were always well thought of, showing her unique way of seeing the world. She was very curious and always wanted to learn more about the mysteries of life. For her parents, it was both the privilege and the challenge to raise a child with such a big brain. Anala was always one step ahead, questioning the world around her and seeking answers to life's most intriguing questions. She was asked questions about everything she saw and heard. She wanted to know how everything worked and why they worked the way they did. One funny question she asked her dad was, why does blue soap make white bubbles? Landon was so surprised by this question that he couldn't answer. But Sabrina knew what to answer. She explained that the soap molecules are shaped like little balls with tails. The blue color is caused by a dye that is attached to the balls. When the water hits the soap, the molecules form bubbles. The dye molecules are on the inside of the bubble, so the bubbles appear white. Inala was pleased with the answer while her dad shook her head. His daughter really deserves her own reality show. Yet as fun as it might seem, Inala's journey was not without challenges. As she continued to excel academically, it became obvious that she was lonely. Her intelligence made it challenging for her to connect with her classmates, who couldn't relate to her interests and ideas. She often felt better studying books, spending long hours reading page after page, learning about new things, but she was also doing this to escape from the lonely reality that she had no friends. This constant pursuit of knowledge also came at a price. Alana's health started to suffer because she didn't take care of herself. She skipped her meals, spent nights reading instead of sleeping, and didn't go outside much. This made her weaker and less energetic. One evening, Alana's health problems finally caught up with her. As she was reading, she collapsed from exhaustion because her body couldn't handle it anymore. Her parents were shocked to find her slumped on the floor. An ambulance was called, and the little genius was rushed to the hospital. There, the doctors found a serious health condition that was troubling her. It was chronic fatigue syndrome. This condition had developed because she had not been resting like a normal five-year-old should. It was a sad turn of events for Alana and her family. It showed that even the smartest people need to take care of themselves. It was a long and difficult journey for Alana to get better. This incident taught the family a valuable lesson. Their daughter had to balance her pursuit of knowledge with taking care of her physical and emotional health. But Anala's story was far from over. As she recovered, her insatiable thirst for knowledge continued to drive her. Now that you remember Anala very well, let's talk about what happened to her. Her journey reached its peak when she was given a surprise invitation. The little girl was invited to join Mensa, a world-famous club for people with very high IQs. Members of Mensa must score in the top 2% on an IQ test. Anala exceeded all expectations by scoring in the top 1%. This made her one of the smartest people in the entire world. The invitation to join Mensa was a big deal. This showed that Anala wasn't just incredibly smart. She also worked really hard to learn. It showed that young minds can achieve amazing things when they have a loving and supportive environment like that of Anala. As she joined the ranks of only 2,800 Mensa members under the age of 18, Anala made her family proud at such a young age. In a world where brilliance knows no age, Inala's story was a testament to the limitless potential of young minds. As she embarked on the next chapter of her journey, one thing was abundantly clear. Inala Beavers was a true genius and a source of inspiration for people worldwide. Inala's story showed that anyone can be smart, no matter how old they are. Her journey is a reminder that learning is fun and important, and that we all have the ability to achieve great things. What do you think about Anala? Are there any child geniuses you know personally? Thank you for watching.